Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Sunless Sea. Where we left off last time, we had arrived back in London. We are going to be traveling north to Venderbite in this video, uh, primarily to drop off some sweet, sweet mushroom wine, which we need to buy because we don't have enough, we need ten. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that the correct amount? We now have enough casks of mushroom wine. We promised we would bring them some wine to liven up the city, and so we shall. I'm just going to buy some supplies. As you recall last time, we actually ended up losing Hunter's Keep, but that's fine. It happens. You know, these things, they occur. In the Unterzi, strange things do happen. Uh, this video, we're going to just let the journey go ahead all the way up to Vendor Bite. Mostly because I just kind of want to run some things by you guys while we do our beginning venture. As you may or may not know, this is sort of a semi-blind playthrough of the game. I know a little bit about it, but I don't know what we're doing entirely, how to win the game or anything like that. I've never actually won a game of this. So, this is a game where when I ask for comments and suggestions, it's more important than other games. So, there's games like Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate 2. I know them pretty well, despite some criticism on the way I play them, but whatever. No big deal. I know how to play them pretty good and I don't really need advice on them that much. That being said, there's games like this. This is a game where I actually have no idea what we're doing. So any of you who are watching that kind of know what's going on, I'd love your insight on how we're doing in the game. Because I don't actually have a metric for how well we're doing in this particular game. We have a few thousand dollars, which is a decent amount of money. We seem to be doing fairly well in terms of levels, although I'm not entirely sure about that. And we seem to be doing well in events, although again, I'm not entirely sure about that either. Uh, we are seeking immortality as part of the Zebmariner expansion. No idea how to go about doing that, but we're going to figure it out. That is part of our goal in life after all. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to get your guys' input on sort of how you think we're doing, what kind of things could be done better, or any pointers on strategies and everything in the game, because I think we're doing okay. But I have no real way of knowing that. Uh, we are going to provide what we have promised. We provide wine and join the celebration. Why not? Your former passenger and their friends would be delighted if you'd raise a glass with them. We brought wine to Venderbite and drank it with your passenger. We gained two lamentable relics. One outlandish artifact, one soothing copper or cooper longbox, one tale of terror, one devil bone dice. We lost a crew somewhere. We lost ten casks of wine, of course, and we gained five terror. You are somewhere dark. Something happened. There are moths. What are all these things? What are all these things? So that didn't go great. It went not too bad, though. We could sell our memory of distant shores for pointless amounts of money. Um, but instead we're just gonna kind of leap. Oh, we can buy a different yacht here. What is this exactly? We need deeds to a steam yacht, first of all, but what does it have? Hold capacity 70, so it's better than ours. It weighs three times what ours is, though, but look at the bonuses on this thing. Mirrors, veils, pages, and hearts bonuses, 10? That's crazy. It's only got a deck gun, though. Oh, that's all we have, though. Deck gun, so that's fine. It's got a bridge. We have a bridge. It has engines. We have engines. It has an auxiliary. We have an auxiliary. That being said, it is a lot heavier, but its hull is like, what, four times ours? A little over four times ours? Three times. A little over three times ours, not four. Hmm. Those bonuses could be really, really useful. I might actually pick up this thing if I can get it. How do I do it, though? Let's see if we can find something to do. We can get a dusty glass of wine. Maybe. We'll explore Vendor Bite first. Let's gather gossip. Let's get our port report. Nothing really changes here, so there's nothing to read there. Um, let's explore Vendor Bite. Here, as Ailer shouts, there's something nestled in the mossy crook of a grey-leafed tree. A wooden serpent lacquered with black, red, and yellow. Its eyes are garnet flakes. That would fetch a good price at the bazaar, the Zaylor observes, but it has a cursy look. Points out another. We could take it anyways. Why not? We don't have the genial magician, but he has a use for it. Do we have the genial magician? Oh, we can't decide later, so we're going to take it anyways. We gained two terror, we gained an outlandish artifact, we have one memoir's finger king's footsteps. 
It is an image of a finger king, a serpent thing that crawls beneath the skin of mirrors. They might be real, or they might be not, but why take the chances? You order the confiscation of all mirrors until the journey's end, and explain that it'll keep the ship safe. There is some grumbling from those sailors who like to trim their beards, but the measure reassures most of them. Interesting. Our terror is rather high, so maybe we should, um, have a glass of wine. 50 echoes, though. Damn, that's expensive. Anyways, we're at 53 fear. That's not so bad. We're going to leave Fender Bite. We are going to head way, way east. We're going to hit Guider's Morn on the way to Polythreme. It is a long, long way off, though, so we do have quite a journey ahead of us. Also, you might be wondering why we only have seven crew total now. It's because I equipped those clay golems, finally, that we got, so we have extra irons now because of them, um, as well as... Oh, dear. Horrors below. Sailors at the rail call softly. Something swims beneath the ship. I saw it looking up at us, one says, his voice a tremble. Well, then let's catch it. We succeeded. Oh, damn, that actually worked. Huh. I didn't anticipate it would. Your crew attempt to dissuade you, but you are determined. The nets and harpoons come out, and you busy yourself. The sea royals. The ship pitches wildly. Below the ship, for an instance, you catch a vast eye glaring up at you, golden as a lost sun. Sailors cry out and fall to their knees. It closes, and the sea is dark again. We got a tale of terror. We lost a hull. We're Our hull is almost gone. We need to go back to shore. Damn, I didn't realize we were so close to death. We gained five terror and five fragments. We're uh, going to go back down to London, actually. Then we'll hit Guider's Morn. And then we'll head all the way over to Polythreme as we need to do that for the um, strategic information part of our journey. I will pause the video here. We'll renew. Renew? That's not the word I'm looking for. Rebegin? Begin anew? Renew our gameplay? I don't know. Whatever. We will continue when I reach Guider's Morn and then Polythreme. Uh, we will, I probably will renew in Guider's Morn strictly because I think we have a quest to do there. If I'm not mistaken, somebody wanted to go there to be dropped off or do a quest. Maybe that was earlier in the game, though. My mind is all a jumble. There's so many things going on in multiple games that I'm playing that kind of comes jumbled. I know we had to take someone there, though. But did we already do it? It's possible. We'll figure it out anyways. See you guys shortly. Okay, we're actually back in London. I know we're not in Guider's Morn, but there's something new here. An invitation to Benthic College. Your travels have caught someone's attention. Benthic College is pleased to invite you to an exclusive and educational evening with Lady Agatha Treadgold, delightful adventuress and raconteuse of thrilling true tales of feist and spunk. On the back is a scribbled note. Come speak to me afterwards, darling. Opportunity beckons. Let's attend the lecture. A trip to Benthic. Benthic is the most open-minded of the London colleges. You find yourself waiting for the lecture in a queue of students, devils, and bohemians, observed with some scorn by passers-by in Somerset colors. Her feet have trodden lands most in the Neath have never even heard of. Her eyes have seen every opportunity for fame and glory while there. An evening with a delightful adventuress. Whoever she is, she knows how to pack a hall. Not a seat is empty as she takes the stage. The fine cuisine of the Chelinate, the darling clay men. All but a prelude, my dears. Her stories tend towards the fanciful and conveniently unprovable. The delightful adventuress has the credulous audience spellbound for hours. Many of her tales of monsters and lost cities have a common theme. She visited them ahead of a certain Lady Leonora Fortus... Fortesque? Fortesque? Fortescu. I don't know, whatever. The quite adorable daring archaeologist with whom she sparked a bracing rivalry back at finishing school. The rest are tales, bitter as the sourest grapes, of being cheated of triumphs by the very same Fortescu, whose fanciful fictions are only fit for the penny dreadfuls. By the end, her stories are notably more bitter than boastful. She still receives a standing ovation. A business proposition. The delightful adventurous mass clayman Barnabas, Barnabas? Barnabas escorts you to the principal of Benthic's study, where she sits sipping brandy by the fire. Ah, my dear Capitano. Firelight glints in her eyes as she raises the glass. I hear you are recently returned from the empire of, oh, monkeys, hands. Yes, of course. It is a rare breed that can make such a voyage. Foolhardy, too, perhaps. She sips her brandy. I wish to charter you, no doubt, fine vessel, to that primitive little island chain. There, I shall find what I need to show up the infernal Leonora Fortescue once and for all. And you, the delightful adventuress squints, sizing you up, sufficient compensation will not be a difficulty. A most mutually beneficial agreement, you will agree. It's a long voyage, but you know the way. Why not? 
Splendid. The delightful adventuress drains her glass dry, then I shall see you on the morrow for the voyage. Barnabas pack my valets. Adventure awaits. We need to repair our boat. Really badly. That's mostly what we came here for. Uh, also, somebody wanted to sign on, I think. London. A new recruit who awaits us. A cannoneer! Yes, you! I'm hiring you. Captain, are you looking for a gunner? I'm looking for a ship. Here are my references. Here are more references. Here's my design for a whistling shell. Here's my colleague. He'll stay on shore. Here's my hand. Will you take it? The cannoneer is a gunnery officer who substantially increases iron. Thank you. Thank you so much. I needed you. Oh, this is interesting. Room for improvement? There's always room for improvement. Wait, let me make notes. Paper. Avoid your new officer by dragging them to the officer's tab. Yeah, I know how to do that. Okay. We'll do that right now. Gunnery person. Ah, uh, yeah. Iron plus eight. Good stuff. Now, we need to set into dry dock. Actually, we can just go this way. Dry dock. There we go. We will use some of our admiralty papers so we can save some money. We just have 12 favors. It's fine. No big deal. And we are all repaired up. Mostly I would have done this between videos, but we did have an event, so that was kind of cool. I'll be heading out again, and I will see you guys at Guider's Morn. We have arrived in Guider's Morn, and I was right, we do have a thing to do here. We have to drop off the Shady Sword. She inhales the air and smiles, perhaps the for the first time ever. As I remember it, she remarks, less mud, more rum. Business concluded. At the windshed, a deferential fellow in Fustian waits. Fustian? He bows to the Shady Sword, a pleasure as ever. You, he barely favors with a glance. He presses a heavy purse into your hand, small coins, stained with salt water. But together, they mounted a tidy sum. 120 echoes. Can't go wrong with that. Is there a shipyard here? No. Okay. I just wanted to check. We still have our weird Nacreous outcast cook. I wonder if he's better, technically, than the bandaged poison. Yeah, I think he is. Two less hearts. Actually, maybe not. One less, p one, yeah, one less pages, but plus two mirrors. So his total stat line is eight, and his is nine. So I guess technically that one's better. Hers is nine plus 100 engine power, and his is eight plus fuel efficiency. I think fuel efficiency trumps engine power in this particular case. So we're going to leave that the way it is. Um, We could have an evening at the Errand Limpet for a modest Veils challenge. Sure. We failed, though. We lost the terror. Yay! We lost 50 echoes. Eh, and that's it. Oh, something new is here. Fights on the morn have a static or er, staccato quality. A careless lunge will send you plummeting to your doom. So wait, and choose your moment carefully. Unleash your wretched mog. Its fur is bristling. It's almost sparking. A sound like dying storm rumbles in its throat. A secret weapon. Your mog's fearless agility gives it a tremendous advantage, at least from pirate to pirate, pinnacle to pirate, leaving a trail of swiped eyes, bleeding scalps, and multilingual curses. In confusion and terror, the enemy flees. The mog returns to your shoulder to lick your ear with a rasping tongue. His breath smells like weak old cave trout. Ooh, grim. Fine. It's all good. We can gather some intelligence. We have a 56% chance of getting it. We did not get it. We got a port report. We lost a crew. Can we get a crew? We have not gotten any crew here, but we still have 5 out of 7. We can get crew later. Alright, we're going to head off to Poly 3 now. At least we got a port report, I guess. We can always hire more crew. We'll hit the Shepherd's Isles Station... No, there's no point to go to Station 3. We'll hit the Shepherd's Isles and Nuncio... Oh wait, there is a point to going to Station 3. We now have a casket. We're going to just go there. Well, it's a little bit of a distance. We'll hit Shepherd's Isles in this video, and then we'll probably call it a video. Because I think we'll be closish to out of time. But we'll do another video today during which we will go to Station 3. We actually have an event to do there since we have a specific item. It was the one we needed to actually do anything there. And if we wanted to look at it, it's this one here. The Soothe and Cooper Long Box. As you'll recall, that there was an event there. I think it was like gain entrance or knock on the door or something like that. Which requires that as an item. So yeah, it's going to be good times. We're almost at the Shepherd Isles and then we'll just head down to Station 3 really quick in the next video. And then we'll go over to Polythrium. I know it's a bit of a distance away. In fact, it is quite the journey to Polythrium. 
and the Empire of Hands. We need to go to both because we have two people to appease. One is a passenger and one is the Admiral of London's fleet. Kind of an important guy, mostly. Alright, Shepherd's Isle. Nothing really changes here, so hopefully there'll be nothing too crazy, but we'll deal with whatever pops up. Let's see. Bloop! Shepherd's Isles. We can picnic on the Standing Stones, have Tales of the Standing Stones, Tales of the Three Graves, Tales of Thornwell Croft, the rest of the Z. Port Report. Yes, we'll grab that. It's the same thing as last time. We get a picnic at the Stones. Do it. We lost three Terror. We lost five echoes, and we now have one ambiguous eelth. Your sailors watch Firefly shimmer, swap shanties, pass around the grog, and shy stones at the more ventrically inclined Z-bats. Grasses nod in the breeze across the water, the lights of the abbey glow watchfully. Your bosun hands you something. Found a rock, he reports laconically. Pretty sure it's dead. Of course, the bearded watchman tells you there are no actual shepherds on Shepherd's Isle. Sheep are mostly illegal here. No indeed, it's just the name of the- oh yeah, we did that before. That's all we have to do here. Alright, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, next time, we will be headed to Station 3, and then over to Poly 3. Take care, everyone. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.